and the land the host of the 2022 NBA All-Star Weekend, but it's regular season basketball as the Toronto Raptors hit the road for a lengthy road trip as we take a look at our starting lineups. It'll be Scotty Barnes, Gary Trent Jr., Chris Boucher, Pascal Siakam, and Kem Birch, Darius Garland, Isaac Okoro. Lori Markinen, Evan Mobley, and Jarrett Allen for the Cavs. Barnes defending well on Garland. Six on the shot clock. Garland in the paint. And Jarrett Allen showing why he's been an all-star this year. As well as they've been playing this season. They turn it over very, very high. Birch inside couldn't go, but Boucher on the follow. That's something he does well. He does very well. He found his niche coming off the bench. Now he's a starter bringing that energy. And the Raptors did a very good job of pushing the ball in that possession. 6-5 lead here early for Toronto. Garland on the pass fake, drops it off. Allen, another hammer home. And once again, I know I sound like a broken record. Darius Garland breaking down the defense, getting into the teeth of the defense, creating opportunities for his teammates. Trent Jr. probing. Pull-up jumper, that falls. That's got to be a good sign for Raptors fans and Gary. That's a relief, but you know, Gary, even though that wasn't a big language, that wasn't the language back when I was playing. You had to be tough, you had to hang out, you had to burn the candles from both ends. But yeah, it's very important. Trent Jr. as the shot clock is expiring. That, his second block of the ball game. Boucher goes at Allen, this time it rolls in. And you love him. But still being aggressive, you have to attack the shot blocker in different ways. Good job by Chris Boucher. That was just the first assist for the Toronto Raptors, and we still have 340 to play in this opening quarter. Love off the pump fake as he gets that to fall in the second quarter alone. The Raptors right now struggling to put the ball in the hoop. Here's Trent as he works off Burke's screen as that rattles in, and I'm happy to be quiet on what I just said. Yeah, he, he, that's what he does, you know. Forget the struggles, forget everything. He's the type of player that's going to play and play with confidence and get back in the rhythm very soon, and it looks like he's doing it. And to Amy's report earlier in the game, as Markinen make that four for seven from the two-point line for the Cavs. Siakam, hand off to Trent Jr. Back to Siakam. Attacking Markinen as he's caught off. Comes back baseline, lays it up in it. Markinen left open. Even with the close of Scotty Barnes, Markinen able to connect. And he's seven feet, so you're not going to do much to distract him once he's in rhythm. 16 points on three of five from beyond the arc for Markinen in this one. 55 43, Cavs lead it. Siakam attacking, drop off to Barnes. That short corner. Barnes looking, he's got three on the shot clock. Attacks Markkinen, hook shot falls. Very good job, being patient. As you saw when he made his move, he looked down the other end and saw the shot clock and how much time he had before he knocked down a nice jump hook. Markkinen, trying to go into the body of Siakam. Wade, five on the shot clock, in the paint. Left that short. Barnes trying to fight for it. Davis comes up with it as he lays it up and in. Nick Nurse wanted a foul. Took it all the way to length of the court for easy laying. Here's Osmond as he gets the start in this third quarter. Even with the defense of Boucher, still gets the bounce. This dude has made so many <laughs> shots right now with the different bounces, timely shots. Basketball guys are on his side. Barnes, a long teardrop. And you like it. You like getting into your rhythm, like getting to your shot, getting to the spot where you feel comfortable, looking like a point guard himself out there. Siakam, Birch, Boucher, three, got it! As Dean Wade showing off his leaping ability. D Wade, D Wade, which D Wade was that? <laughs> the Flash in from Miami? He looked like Flash, young Flash on that one. Wow. Being aggressive. Totally surprised Kim Birch with that one, I'm sure. That's what happens when you're a shot blocker. And you go for those, doing a good job being deliberate, getting Barnes the ball right in a good position. Well executed play, 
out at the end of the quarter, getting an and one. And that's the thing about Scotty. You can put him in different areas, and that was actually a play called for him. You could tell him coming off the back screen, getting around in the middle. Good recognition, good execution by the Raptors. As he gets the three-point play, they were timely. Yeah, timely, and it just made you, you know, you don't want to have a knee-jerk reaction, but you have to respect it. And he set the tempo early on. Trenton Jr. for three as he gets that to fall. Blocked by Boucher for the lob. Birch keeps it alive and he controls. Over to Siakam. Siakam to Birch. Going at love as he puts it up and in. And the foul for Ken Birch. Trenton Jr. Attacking goes baseline up and under as he lays that in. Both teams right now under the five minute mark of finding their rhythm. Turnover. Birch gets it to Trent Jr. and sets the screen for him on the roll. Birch kicks it. Boucher in the corner. Got it. And the Cavs going to just hold this one. As the Raptors have now dropped three in a row and three straight to this Cavaliers team, Alvin. And we know, you know, with the depleted roster, Fred Van Vliet is out, OG's out. As soon as they come back, people will be able to get back into their natural positions, and you'll get that rhythm again.